Hi, in this video we will see about uh, principle of transmissibility of forces. Okay, principle of transmissibility of forces. Principle of transmissibility of forces. Okay, to understand this principle of transmissibility, I'll consider uh, an example of a rigid body. Okay, consider a rigid body. So I'll consider a point on the rigid body. Point A. Okay, at point A, I'll apply a force. I'll apply a force. of magnitude f okay now let this will be the line of action of the force uh, the red dotted line be the line of action of uh, the applied force on the rigid body so and along the line of force i'll consider one more point b Okay, so this particular point, I will consider one more point B along the line of action of the applied force. Okay, this is the first case. So in the second case, for the same rigid body, What I will do is at the point B, at the point B, I will apply two equal and opposite forces. Two equal and opposite forces with the same magnitude F only. With the same magnitude F only. Okay. By applying two equal and opposite forces at point B, there won't be any change in the position of the rigid body, right? There won't be any change in the position of the rigid body. Now Considering the force which is applied at point A and opposite force which is applied at point B, both forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. If we consider the resultant of both the forces, the, result, the resultant of both the forces will be zero, means the net effect of both the forces will be zero. So the remaining force is the force which is applied at point B, correct? Now, I will write one more resultant diagram. So, the remaining force is what? The force which is applied at point B. Now, you can see that Whatever the force applied at point A is replaced by another force of same magnitude but acting anywhere along the line of action of replaced force. So this is what the principle of transmissibility which says that the state of rest or motion of a rigid body is unaltered if a force acting at a point on the rigid body is replaced by another force of same magnitude and direction acting anywhere along the replaced line of action of replaced force. Okay, I repeat. The state of rest or motion of a rigid body is unaltered if a force acting on the rigid body is replaced by another force of same magnitude and direction but acting anywhere along the line of action of the replaced force. Okay, this is the principle of transmissibility of forces. Okay, thank you.